what grows up must come down. Sooner or later, even the sturdiest tree falls over, knocking a hole in the forest. But don't think the hole stays empty for long. You know what season it is when the trees take a tumble? What? Fall! There's something squirrely about this mammal. Let's check out the garden where it lives. Here we are, in a sunny spot of the rainforest. What better place for a garden party? And the chance to meet lots of fascinating plants and animals. <laughs> to it, class! It's time to chirp, whistle, and roar your way through a round of animal chorus. <laughs> The rainforest is full of animal sounds. Join the cacophony of calls, the chorus of grunts and growls, by clicking on the keys below. Play the keys one at a time, like a piano, or click an animal's icon to place it in the forest where you can hear it all the time. Use the mouse to click on the piano key and play the animal's call. <laughs> was what the Topi tribe of Brazil called this bird. They also gave us the word toucan. Wait, what's a squirrel doing in the rainforest? Doesn't he belong in another type of forest? Some species are intercontinental travelers. Besides the squirrels, this rainforest has raccoons, otters, porcupines, skunks, and possums. Back to our little hole in the forest, also known as the tree fall gap. These are uranium moths. Every few years, thousands of them gather in huge clusters and migrate for hundreds of miles. Pyras are tropical weasels who adapt to living just about anywhere. Pyras have been spotted in the trees, on the ground, and outside the forest in the grasslands. This piper is picking up to tell us something. like we have houses to spend time in, animals have their plants, not to mention other animals. Let's take a look. This piper plant is related to the black pepper, the kind you grind up and put on your food. The only peppers I put on food are hot peppers. The hotter the better, but this rainforest is hot enough. Urania caterpillars are jumpy. Anything scary, like an ant or a wasp, and boing, there they go, leaping off their leaf. I'm starting to think that the only place ants don't live in the rainforest is at the bottom of the river. The piper's Spanish name, Candela, comes from the plant's candle-shaped flowers and the fiery, jagged edges of its leaves. Jack be nimble, Jack don't walk, Jack jump over the piper stalk. Hey 
pigeons. They have pigeons in the rainforest? But without any buildings or statues, where will they live? If they're half as smart as they are noisy, I'm sure they'll think of something. Hummingbirds go bananas for plantain nectar. But why do plants make nectar? I think it's a fair trade, Ralphie. When the bird flies from flower to flower drinking nectar, it pollinates the flowers so they can make seeds. Roses are red and violets are blue. Keisha's correct, Ralphie, and so are you. Well, as my old sweetheart used to say, giddy up and head them off at the gap. Let's go over to the understory. Now arriving at the ground floor of the rainforest. Watch your step class. The understory is bursting with life. That Jaguar's had enough of us for now. Let's get back on the bus. All this wind and all that cacophony can only mean that we're in the canopy, otherwise known as the top of the rainforest. Uh-oh! It's starting to rain! Everybody back on the bus. Now arriving at the ground floor of the rainforest. Watch your step class. The understory is bursting with life. Just one more bump. Here's the scoop. You found our missing clone of Sloth Poop. When it comes to finding bio clones, you certainly stand alone. Now, if you want to see a real jewel, head back to the school. My classroom, that is. than the zoo. Wow, these plants aren't just food for all these animals. They're homes too.
Oh, uh-huh.